Well, the first time I saw Top Gun, I was blown away. I went out the next day quoting to everybody and annoying everyone who hadn't seen it, which was basically everybody mm. I knew. And over the coming weeks, people started quoting back to me. So it's always been like a, a, a huge influence mm. and, and a movie that I've always loved. And sure. You know, I'm originally from the south side of Chicago. And I remember when Top Gun came out and everybody from all corners, you know, the city were talking about this great film. And I said, Mom, Dad, I got to go see this Top Gun thing. And they were like, hey, well, what money? But then later it came on cable and I said, oh, I get it. I see what everybody's talking about. I was finally able to join Charles and the others in enjoying it. And <laughs> sometimes you got to wait, right? Uh, but no, you really feel like you were watching something transcendent. You go like, I have never seen these images on screen before. There had never been a military movie like that, ever. And so, yeah, it was like, you know, one of those things that stays in your memory forever. And over the years, I can't remember ever mentioning that title and mm. someone going, I'm sorry, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's true. Like, I feel like everyone everywhere knows that title. They know where they were when they saw it. Yeah. You know? I mean, Hondo is, uh, you know, Hondo is actually the same nickname uh, that Kevin McHale had when he was uh, Larry Bird's right-hand man, um, and I enjoy, you know, to some degree in this film, being Tom's right-hand man. Did we throw basketballs to each other? That's the next question, we didn't. Or, or uh, was there a basketball on set? There wasn't, there should have been, right? Maybe we could have no. did a beach basketball scene, you know what I'm saying? We'll do it for the next one. Uh, but, you know, look, I enjoy, it. all of us on set, you know, felt like we were making something special. We were trying to live up to the greatness, you know, that is Top Gun. And I think, you know, for my part, my job was really, you know, to, to be that support and to be that, you know, guy that whenever Tom looks over, he knows I got his back. So I loved playing that. I loved walking the tightrope between trying to help my guy Maverick get to where he's going and knowing things about him that Cyclone doesn't quite appreciate and trying to translate that throughout the movie. Yeah. It's like, you know, like Luther, the Obama anger translator, mm. I was kind of the opposite. I was like the maverick behavior translator. <laughs> so he would do something crazy and then I would put it in English and feed it to Cyclone to try to get him to understand. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember uh, from the table read, Tom was telling us all, you know, that you know, the movie can't be as great as it will, unless each of us are great. And he really worked hard to do that. And he was talking about the pilots, uh, about some of the training they were going through. And I was making jokes like, ah, you guys, it's, it's gonna be a lot of hard work, but you guys gonna, I trust you guys. And, they, and then Thomas goes, you gotta do some training too. And I was like, wait, what? Um, I did, I actually ended up going to a lot of facilities. You know, we start uh, with uh, the test flights for the experimental aircraft. I actually got the pleasure of going to watch that happen and watching them do, you know, test flights, you know, on the base and things like that. So it was really nice for me to learn more about being a warrant officer and to learn more about making my character more authentic. Having the Navy as a partner, I have a little experience with that because I was on a show called The Last Ship and we worked with the Navy. So I knew how amazing the Navy was, how helpful they are, how dedicated they are to helping a television show or a film portray life for them. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have as exciting uh, things to prepare for like flying and things like that, but I did. what I did focus on was what an admiral's actual day is like, mm. what he does, like nuts and bolts. And that was kind of fascinating to find out how mundane things can be, and also the next hour you can be making a decision that will affect thousands of lives. Mm -hmm. huh. So that was a, it was, it was a, quite an experience to find out just like the day-to-day the -day of an admiral. Yeah.